Hello Kirby Woods, Pastor Calvin here with this week's devotion. Today our devotion comes from Hebrews chapter 12. Let me read the first few verses. It says, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. You know, this cloud of witnesses he's talking about are all found in chapter 11. There are men and women in the Old Testament who lived by faith. And many of them never received the reward that they were looking for. They didn't receive it in this life, but they were looking for a better life, a better home, a better city. That's what he talks about, heaven. And so as he talks about our life and the life that we're living now, and isn't it a crazy life right now with COVID and with the election and all the things that are going on? There are a lot of people who are really struggling. Let me say this. God is calling us to run the race with endurance. He's calling us to be faithful, and He's telling us that He has been faithful to us and will continue to be faithful to us. So let us set aside all of these things that keep us from running the race or living the life that Christ has called us to, and let us press forward. Let us continue to run that race just like Jesus set His eyes on heaven let us also set our eyes on heaven. And Jesus endured so much. He endured the cross, the suffering, the shame. And yet the Bible says He endured all that for the joy that was set before Him. Heaven's going to be a wonderful place. This world is not our ultimate home. We're going to have to deal with some difficulty while we're here on earth. That's what the Bible says. All who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. And at some point we're going to have to pay a price for our faith. Most Christians throughout history have. But we can run with endurance and we can run the race to win because Jesus has already overcome. Jesus has already overcome the world. And He is our example. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And He has shown us how we ought to live. And now He's seated at the right hand of the throne of God the Father. And that's a symbolism that's speaking of rest. He went through his earthly journey. He did all of the things that his father asked him to do. And now he is at rest in heaven until the trumpet sounds and the dead in Christ rise and we're all called to be together with him. And so until that time, here's our word today. Run the race with endurance. Remember that many have gone before you and many run alongside you. And let's keep our eyes on Jesus. And remember that he's promised never to leave us or forsake us. He's with you today. He's going to be with you every day. I know that He loves you. I know that He loves me. And that is something. We learned that as kids. Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. And I love you, and the people here at Kirby Woods Baptist love you as well. Hope to see you this coming Sunday. God bless you. You have a wonderful week.